let's come back to this this very good case study here. Mm. Quartz was the first. Jewel. Yes. Asperina. Mm. Okay, actually, Asperina is older than Jewel. Mm. But because of the fact that it is an EC, it only start to transact later than Jewel. Jewel is a project by CDL. Quartz was the first project. Mm. And then of course, latest one is Sengkang Grand. Right now, what is happening is that this guy is about 1004 PSF. This mm. is 1007 PSF. This is also 1007 PSF. So surprisingly, this is an EC, but it has already matched the PSF level of a condo. So of, of course, if you look at this, what is, what is happening right now is like that. Uh, Jewel. Okay, sorry. Uh, here, here. In terms of highest PSF. 1007, 1007, Whoa. right? If you look mm. at the average one around here. So, um, surprisingly, we also went to see this. Okay, great. So, okay, yeah. so my observation nowadays is that in the past, there was sort of like a bit of stigma on ECs. Now, mm. people actually don't really care. They don't care about yeah. whether you are you an EC or condo totally because yep. now they yep. know it's the same. Okay. What I'm trying to look at here is this. Actually, I will go for Park Central. Uh, for two reasons. Number one is the entry price. That means same as George in the sense that what can I buy now for something brand new that nobody has stayed in before and I get to enjoy the herd mentality five years time. Even though it's not three years time, but it's five years time, a bit longer. But if I were to go for a brand new condo now, I have to go at 2000 PSF. But if I go for EC now, which I can qualify based on my income and eligibility status, I can get 1550. Mm. And then I know that five years later, if I sell, I can sell at let's say the condo market price. Okay, but actually there's a second reason. I will buy because they got it at this price. So it's a contrary mindset because I will feel safer that 98% of my neighbors are sitting on a huge profit mm. because I know that they'll be very motivated to sell here. Mm. If they actually enter at a higher PSF, actually I will get a bit worried because I've seen so many projects that the owners feel that they have not made enough, they don't want to sell. Oh, okay. And when in TOP, mm. there's a lack of transaction volume and my valuation cannot appreciate because right. all the neighbors I walk around with like, Ay, yeah, don't buy it, don't buy it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Actually, I will yes. buy because 98% of them are sitting on a huge margin. Two zero two nine. 2 I tell you, all the Park Central, owners, will be so happy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 All the Park Central owner will be so motivated to exit because they are sitting on so much gain. Mm. I just need to ride on the wave. I do an equity term loan or I can sell together with them. Even though I make lesser, it doesn't matter because it's fair. They waited since 2022. I only waited since 2024. Mm. So that's the reason I'll buy because I'm yep. buying to a pool of owners mm. that is healthy one. Yep. Correct. And their, motiv their motivation is strong. So I want to borrow that motivation. Yeah, so mm. that is my mentality. Mm. But of course, not right and wrong because like Lyndon mentioned, his friend has a three-year mindset. So even if his friend is watching this, no right and wrong because his planning is that, okay, three years, he'll help you to flip and exit. So he's yeah. on the he's on that mindset that, okay, you have to switch every three years. This is on a, a different kind of mindset. So, so it really depends on what kind of like entry objective that you have. Mm.